Hello, hello, hello. So, <laughs> I'm late. Like, by several minutes. Um, I've said, I've said this before, of like, I have Twitch up on my computer to, you know, make sure everything is working and whatnot. Yeah, Twitch wasn't showing up, and neither was Discord. So, <laughs> proceed me wondering if the stream is actually even live or not, because, like, my... Figuring Firefox just was not loading. And my laptop's like, oh, I have an update. And I'm like, I know you have an update. Your update can wait till after the stream. <laughs> and I was wondering if that was messing it up or not. But it looks like I'm good. At least. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm good. <laughs> Hopefully it's actually live. Um. I do not want this to be a long stream. Because I have to go do something tomorrow. So. Let's just go back into it. Because we're doing. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. We're doing Alice Reverie. We're finishing all the endings. Here we go. So, who, who are we? And I don't remember who we're doing. I know it's only been a day, but I kid you not. I slept until 8. Oh, a.m.? No, 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 no. P.M. I slept until 8 p.m. Specifically, 8.54 p.m. I literally woke up, it was dark outside, and I was like, did I miss streaming time? I didn't. <laughs> I just <laughs> slept the entire day away. Which is ironic, given I fell asleep like almost immediately after the stream because I was tired. But it's fine, because we're gonna do Catherine's, and then V's. What? What do you mean? By apparently today, like on Twitch, did it say something? Yeah, I slept through the entire day. So I was not, like... Awake. At all. Until. <laughs> Which is why I was sort of late. To start streaming. Yeah. Yeah. I still- I was hoping, like... When I woke up, I was like, oh, please tell me I didn't sleep through stream time. Because I did not want to cancel another stream <laughs> due to me s my sleep habits being really messed up currently. Do I seem good? I was really worried though. Just because my laptop is not doing well right now for some reason. It made me worried. Because we've had so much internet issues recently. I thought my internet was out. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just my laptop. Because my phone is working fine. Like, internet-wise. Um, mine is its usual glitches. But... Because I, I went to pull up Discord to put the stream is starting soon, right? Like I usually do. And Discord was like, oh, well, you need to log back in. Which I was like, okay, that's slightly annoying. Given I quite literally had you open yesterday, but okay. So I re-logged in and then it just like, for several minutes was stuck on loading, essentially. And I was like, um, that's not good. So I went to pull up Twitch, was also stuck on loading. And I was like, oh, what is happening? So, despite hitting the confirm go live button, I had no idea if the stream was actually live or not. Made me very worried. Even now, it's giving me 
There was a network error. Please try again. It is spooky. <laughs> it's, 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 it's anxiety. Blah, 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 blah. It's anxiety inducing, really, right now. Cause it's like, <laughs> my screen currently just says, like, the, the stream title, you know, the stream actions, live, with excellent, no recommended changes, it says. The bitrate seems steady, but then the little, like, stream preview just says there was a network error. Please try again. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I guess just do the stream? Okay, that's good. That's good. Hopefully it stays like that. If it starts to break, I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh. But, okay, well... Just gonna do the stream and hope everything stays perfectly fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, so we only have to do three, three characters of all endings, which you know our favorite girl, best girl, Catherine and Morgana. So I have I have their things pulled up to do it. <laughs> now we have to go back to the speed running of the different things. We do Catherine first. How many how many do I need for the first one? Pretty sure like one again cuz it's the Alice is a dumbass route. Yes. Ha! I like the the title of the ending is The Disappearance of Alice, which is so accurate. So it is one point. Ah, I went a little too high. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why? It said you need six points for an ending. Yeah, for Reese. <laughs> true, true, true. The main one, though, like, the main bad ending of Alice being a dumbass is, is primarily the one where she's just like, there has to be another way to leave Wonderland, despite, you know, everyone else telling her, hey, there's not really another way to leave Wonderland, and so she goes into the forest and fucking dies because she's an idiot. That dumbass Alice route. <laughs> but you're right, there are plenty of other ones. We have to do the first. I love that most of these are just me holding down a button. <laughs> For most of it. Yeah, it's like the, um, the main bad end for all of them. I think, like, the only... I like them, the, the, the endings, in the sense of... There you go, that's our one point, is that she's extremely kind. In the sense of, I like seeing the love interest's um, response to Alice going missing. Because while they are heartbreaking, they're also interesting in the sense of like, Reese just kind of was like, you know, Alice is, um, Alice is missing, and she didn't know where she was, and was just like, oh, well, none of my business. <laughs> Which made me laugh. Uh, Lulu just goes insane trying to find Alice, and then Skylar goes to the garden like, hey, where, where's Alice? And then falls asleep. I think Wendy also searches until Morgana is just like, Wendy. Wendy, it's not worth it. Wendy, she's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Skylar's was really sad because... Oh, here he is. <laughs> because... They clearly wanted to go look for Alice, but did not have the energy and couldn't... find her. So just ended up sleeping within the garden. 
Which was so sad. Um. Nope. But I think Wendy's was. M might have been the most heartbreaking. Right? Right? <laughs> Skyler was a mood. <laughs> well, for real. Ah. Something really sad happened? Let me go to bed. <laughs> Be me for real, for real. Um. But I think the most heartbreaking out of these, so far, so far, because we don't know what V's or cats or Morganas look like. But the most heartbreaking one to me currently was Wendy's. Because she was like so determined that Alice had to be around somewhere. And to hear Morgana just be like, quite literally tell Wendy, you're better off forgetting her, was really sad and heartbreaking. And then, see? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why Wendy is the, like the most heartbreaking, like Alice getting herself killed. For Wendy, it's like, I brought her here, it's my fault. You know, despite, you know, everyone else trying to be like, Wendy, no, it's not your fault. You know, you had nothing to do with it. She did it of her own accord. But. <sighs> Wendy will take anything personally. I mean, this is the girl where her dad straight up left and she was like, well, I'm going to take over everything he was supposed to be doing to make him proud. So, you know, Wendy is so sad. <laughs> I don't want to read all this, except for like, goodbye cat, I had a lot of fun with you, but I really need to go home. In the middle of the night, surrounded by woods that I got lost in the first time. Cause I'm smart girl. <laughs> and then she disappears. Now, cat. Alice. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like, Alice. Alice. Girl, what? <laughs> When I leave my room, the first thing I notice is that Alice is not on the couch. Immediately, I become concerned. Stay calm. She probably woke up already. I walk up to the other rooms of the house, but Alice is nowhere to be found. Shoot. She didn't actually leave, did she? Cat. Oh yeah, because Cat can see the future. Oh god, Cat seeing the future is so sad. She, she basically sees every bad route. Desperate for myself to be wrong, I peek out the window. Still, there is no Alice. Accepting that she's gone, I resign myself to the kitchen. A heavy sigh escapes from me. I had a feeling this would happen. But I was hoping so hard that it wouldn't. She was right there with me this whole time. I thought she was safe. Yet now... My eyes look back over to the couch where she had slept. Gone. I silently curse to myself and hit the countertop. Everyone else worried about Alice. <laughs> Yeah. Cat, well. Well, yeah, like, it kind of makes sense because Cat, like, sees, you know? Cat saw her dad leaving her and was like, yep, they, he, de he be doing that. So, like, Cat sees everything happening and knows she can't stop it. She essentially has a curse of the whole, like, you can see the future but you can't change it, sort of thing. She can make little changes, but not change the outcome, essentially. Which she knew. Which is why she's like, well. And hit the countertop. Is there anything I could have done so that this wouldn't have happened? No. There's no use fussing over it now. What's done is done. I have to go back to living my life without her. Oh, damn. <laughs> I, don't, 
Out of all the game over screens, I don't know who's the, like... Um... Oh, I didn't make a save! My bad. <laughs> Gotta replay through some stuff. Um... Who's the, like, saddest, like, game over screen? Not saddest, but, like, scariest. Because they're all shrouded in the dark. I don't know. Anyway, skip through here where I was supposed to make a save and then just didn't. Well, it's fine. I have to make a save at two, right? Okay, so this is one. She's easy to talk to. This is two. And then I make a save, unless um, let me check. I love having the the thing because it's a lot easier than trying to figure out three. <laughs> Two to three. Hey V! <laughs> I love so just, just the music. It will always make me laugh. And that's our third one. So we make a save at the next one. Yeah! Yeah. It's interesting. The game over screens are very interesting. Cats, like, I'm trying to think what my favorite route is. Like, okay, well, let's be real. My favorite route is V, but that's for personal reasons. But, like, for lore reasons, I think Cat's my favorite route. Just because the realization of who she is and what's going on with her. Like, the ability to see a week into the future. But also getting to learn about, you know, these two being her moms, essentially. Uh, right. We need to make a save here. Oh. Come on. There we go. Hmm. I do wish that we had gotten to see more of these two because we only see these two in Cat's route which kind of makes sense being they're like these are her moms and stuff but at the same time It would have been nice if, like, in the other routes, when you see the inn, if Alice chooses in a, like, one of the, like, either going into the inn or checking it out, to be able to meet them. Because <laughs> we only get to meet them here, and we never get to see the inside of the inn, except for in this route. Also, this is, like, uh, interesting. I forgot that this happens, but also remember it in the same way. That that cat does the, the romance um, fortune. She tells you feline. You know, obviously in reference to her. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Because usually it's like, ah, yes, I shall. 
Read your fortune. Aha, you like me. Yeah, yeah, they do. And it's it's kind of like, oh, I wanted to see more of them. And then you don't. Like Desmond, the um Diamond Division. Claire of the Spades Division, and even Haley of the Hearts Division. We don't get to really see them unless you're doing Morgana's route and you only see Desmond during the um croquet game. And even then, you're not even supposed to know his name. I know his name because I played the game before. And I knew his name was Desmond. But other than that, you really don't get to meet them. You barely get to talk to Claire unless you specifically choose to. Same thing with Haley. It kind of sucks. <laughs> it's like, I want to know these characters more. Satisfied, she closes her eyes once again. Suddenly, her brows furrow. Within a second, her eyes snap open. She takes a sharp intake of breath. That doesn't look good. Is my love life doomed or something? Oh, I don't know, Alice. Is it? I... Hmm. Well, what is it? Her hands drop from the crystal onto the table. She begins to fumble with her fingers, and her eyes scramble around the room, avoiding eye contact with me. She's acting like a completely different person. What's up with her? Your heart seeks fulfillment, but it remains locked away. The rhythm desperately tries to match another, but your tempo is beginning to falter. Oh no, it's not good when the one flirty character starts talking and quite literally riddles. If you wish to find the key to your feeling, it's time to use a different map. Whoa, that's kind of intense. Is that supposed to determine my love life? It sounds a little more ominous to me. Take it however you'd like, but yeah, that's your fortune. How am I supposed to take that? Exactly! Exactly! And that's concerning, since Kat is kind of... Not really denounced, but doesn't really take in a lot of her dad. You know, she's playful, but she's not overly playful. She's not really pranking people like her dad would have been. So, it's like, uh-oh. Oh no. What have you done, Alice? As son of some insight on my love life, I feel like I've been given a warning. But, about what? Not to mention Cat looks super nervous right now. Hey, Cat, you know Alice. She walks over to me and pulls me up by my hands. What is it? It's been really fun. Oh, having you around. But I don't think you just stay with me any longer. <laughs> Alice is getting kicked out. What? Red flags, yeah. What? What? Are you kicking me out? Cat, what's going on? Where am I supposed to go? I'm sure you'll find somewhere. Just trust me. It's better off this way. But before I can respond, she drags me out of the tent. When our eyes meet, her voice comes out no louder than a whisper. I'm sorry. With that, her hands release me and I'm left standing in front of the tent, alone. Immediately, I'm met with the sight of curious onlookers making their way towards my direction. Why are they approaching me? Hey, is Cat open yet? Oh, right. No? I don't know. Maybe? Sorry. I'm not the person you should be asking. Oh, I thought you might have got been getting a fortune too. They're not wrong, but I think they have the wrong idea. No, I'm just passing by. Don't mind me. Alright, if you say so. They turn to talk to a different person, and I use that as a chance to leave. As the tents get smaller in the distance, I can't help but think, on, b think back on the events of today. Everything was going just fine until a few minutes ago. I even started getting my hopes up up after t talking with the inn owners. My feet stop in place. I should go back. At least then I'll have a place to stay until I can go back home. All right then. I love all the other ones. It's like, um, Alice chooses to leave because Alice is like, well, I feel like I should give up hope. I don't think they like me like that. But in that one, it's fully cat kicking her out. 
I was not expecting that. Anyway, how many points do we need? <laughs> What's next? What's next? And this is why we go from good to bad. Oh, that was called a, a foreboding pre- pre- a mission. Premonition. There we go. That's the word. Right? Like, what- what was the fortune? Um... Four to five. So this is three points. So four. Five. And so the next one we do save. And so now... Will this... Ah? And then you see this is completely different of like... I see you have a feline in your future. <laughs> a feline? Wait. By feline, do you mean you? She doesn't respond, so I didn't mean weak instead of anything- saying anything else. This is her usual fortune! So for her to, like, speak in riddles and kick Alice out is like, Oh god, what did you see? What happened? I can't help wanting to make you turn red. And then we have to say stupid. It was about a monster. I was being chased in my dream by a big scary monster. It was awful. I thought it was gonna die. There's no monster though. It was just a dream. Which is so interesting. Like it's- it, for the other routes, like Alice says stupid things like, oh, I was thirsty. I was hungry. I spilled the tea. <laughs> One of them. But for Catherine, for her to say, oh, there was a monster. And Catherine knows the truth, knows the, like, what actually happened in her dream, because she sees it. It's interesting. And I'm like, is Catherine gonna bring it up, or...? Actually, I'm fine with you, shoot for conscious. See? She, her hand begins to stroke my head. It must be hard to see your sisters again, even if it's just a dream. Yeah, yeah, Catherine's root has just a very different vibe to it when you know the truth. When you're first playing through it, you're like, oh yeah, this is like every other route. But when you get to this point, you realize, oh no, 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 this is not like every other route. Wait, how does she know that? I pushed slightly, wiggle at her arms. Cat, I didn't say anything about my sisters earlier. Oh! You didn't. I love the music being all happy when really <laughs> the music should like cut off here. Mobed, you were so shaken up from your nightmare, I, I figured it was about your sisters. I just told you what my dream was. Right! You did, didn't you? What's going on here? She's giving off weird vibes right now. Actually, this isn't the first time this has happened, isn't it? You've told me things before that you shouldn't have known, saying you just had a feeling. Cat avoids my eyes and laughs nervously. I'm good at reading people. That's all. No, this is more than that. There's no way you could know what I dreamt about. And I highly doubt it was just a guess. Okay. Okay, you caught me. I've known this whole time. How's that possible? I'm confused. This is Wonderland, Alice. This place is magical. In any other scenario, this would be a horror movie. <laughs> this is a horror scene, currently. I would not react this calmly to someone being like... This is Wonderland. This place is magical. Of course I would know. Nah, I'm out. Mm -mm. 
She's got a point. I forgot this is Wonderland. Normally, no one other than the Heart's Bloodline can use magic, but I'm an, kind of an exception. And then we're skipping through a backstage. Well, the girl's gotta make money somehow. And then we save here. Come on. Honestly, her saying that with those eyes will light these scratch with gloves. What if it was between horror and romance as is? Right? <laughs> it's walking a very thin line. If you didn't know that this was supposed to be a romance game. I, I, I always happen, like, leave it to me to pick up to to play the one like the ho the the romance games that just slightly lean into horror just a little j just a little bit you know <laughs> ever so slightly you know the the cute game with the elves or not the elves the fairies that are a cult and sacrifice people but you know <laughs> cute game about wonderland with the Slightly questionable route. So just, oh, now we're getting hunted by a cat girl. <laughs> What's next? Everlasting summer is fitting more and more into the theme. I haven't played it yet and I'm worried. I do love the, the, the only only in Oh god. <laughs> Here we go. We need just one. Just one route needs to go down the trend. <laughs> I I was going to say I do love that only in Catherine's route do we get to specifically talk to V. And which V is just like, "All right. <laughs> go away." And then... They dance? Do they dance? No. No, because this is the ending where Alice does the stupidity thing. Here's the other dumbass route. Um, where Alice ends up leaving the love interest behind. I need to check something. Yes, okay. We're good. I was like, I am doing the right one. Is the one I say. But yeah, this is the one route where... This is the neutral route, where it's neither good nor bad. Thank you so much, your majesty. I hold out my hands and Morgana drops the key into them. I can go home and see my sisters. I'm sure they've missed you. Of course, Alice, we took leave someone at the altar. <laughs> hey, it's not even a joke. Freaking Reese. When she leaves Reese, Reese is like, um, when they're at the transfer door, Reese was like, hey, Alice, you know, I, I really liked making clothes for you. Obviously, you know, working up the courage to say like, hey, Alice, I love you and I'm sad you're, you know, you're going to leave. And Alice was just like, oh, yeah, your clothes are amazing. Um, thanks, Reese. Anyway, bye. And straight up left. Skylar fully hugs Alice, and Alice is like, "Oh, it's it's sweet of you to say goodbye to me." <laughs> I was like, "Alice, Alice." <laughs> Every love interest is like, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna miss you," and Alice is just like, "Cool, bye." <laughs> Like I said, in these routes, I, <laughs> the ghost of night just, just like gives up on Alice. <laughs> They're like, nope. Mm -mm. And then like Alice gets back to the human world is like, damn, I miss them. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> this is your own fault. Damn. I think Reese has the saddest yeah! Reese has the saddest, like, after Alice's leaves thing. Because she finds, um, some extra cloth from...
some extra fabric from Alice's dress that she had made. And she holds it close to her chest and is like, Yeah. Yeah, that was from... From Alice. I need to get back to work. And just... Goes back to work. And at the beginning, we hear that, like, Lulu being like, Hey, Reese. Can you come out to eat? You know? I'm busy. What? You haven't eaten anything in... A bit. I'm worried for you. And it's like, Reese, no! She dives headfirst into work to forget about Alice, and it's heartbreaking. I'm like, Reese, you deserve so much better. She's not even good to you if you do go with her. I'm sure they've missed you. All you have to do now is put the key in the transfer room door, and it should take you home. Please, take Cat with you. That's all I need you. Or don't do this yourself. Exactly. I'm like, Reese, no, baby. <laughs> baby, no. <laughs> like, for the other love interests, at least it's, like, slightly... Like, they're sad. But it isn't... The only thing. Like, they're still going on with their lives. But for Skylar and Reese... Nah. The two of them just... Are broken. <laughs> Reese dives first, head first into work, and Skylar stays in the garden more often, like sleeps in the garden more often. Um, and are losing themselves more to their sleeping habits. But also, they look over to their side and they're like, oh yeah, flower crowns. I should. that are wilted. And they're like, I should throw them away. I have no use for them anymore. And it took me a few seconds to realize they were the flower crowns they made with Alice. They've just kept them and waited in this garden. Waiting for her to come back. Whether unconsciously or consciously. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. <laughs> um... Both are sad, both are sad. I wonder, like, for these two, like, how the, they're gonna do, because obviously we're going through um, the neutral route right now, but for the bonus scenes is how you get to know what the love interest thinks of after Alice leaves. But, like, Catherine's very headstrong, and she's been on her own for quite a while, so I'm like, is Alice leaving gonna actually do anything? Or just going to be a simple, there goes another one. And V, same thing. Prefers to be alone. Doesn't really like having people hanging around her. Is she going to be happy Alice is gone? Or conflicted? And same thing with Morgana. She has, you know, she's the freaking queen. She might not even be thinking of Alice. So it's like, I'm curious on how they're going to be. Of course. With excite oh yeah. With excitement my sense in my steps, Kat and I head to the transfer room. Even though we're traveling through the forest at night, we seem to find it without getting without trouble. This is the transfer room. Home, here I come. I've missed my sister so much. Yeah, that's what I suspect too. And I'm just curious on how that's going to come out, you know? Thank you for coming with me, Kat. Not that I had much of a choice, but I would have come even if Morgana didn't force me to. I'm gonna miss you, Cat. Cat grabs my hand and brings it to her lips as she gives it a soft kiss. I'm gonna miss reading your fortune and living with you. I'm I'm sure my fortunes weren't that interesting to read. Ah! Debatable! Also, I'm a horrible roommate. No, that I agree with. I should probably get going. She releases my hand and I, as I walk around to unlock the door. Once I turn the key, the door opens on its own, bright light emanating from it. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye! <laughs> I step into the- This is what I mean! Like, the love interest giving clear, clear hints that, hey. Hey. Hey, I'm really gonna miss you. No! I'm gonna miss you too, bye! <laughs> 
Alice. Jesus. Girl. I step into the door and get whisked away. Before I know it, I'm waking up on the street. Oh my gosh, Alice, are you okay? My scissors hold out their hands to me and I grab onto them to get up. You scared us, something running off and, ru and falling over. I brush off the skirt of my dress and inspect myself for any injuries. I'm okay, though. Good, because we still need to finish grocery shopping. Yeah, Kat didn't have as much, but for other love interests, like Reese, had clear impact of like, hey, I'm really gonna miss you. Like, I think Lulu fully starts crying. Or like, is on the verge of tears. And her voice cracks, and Alice is just like, oh, I'm gonna miss you too. And leaves. And I'm like, Alice. Alice, can you not? Alice, look, I know I'm dense to human emotions and stuff, but like, Alice. Girl. <laughs> Yeah, really poor Lulu. Because we see her after scene, and she... Oh... She walks Reese and Skylar home, in which Reese is, like, talking about how much she enjoyed the party and whatnot. And Skylar's falling asleep. And they get to the door, and Lulu, you know, unlocks it, and they all go in. And Reese is like, Lulu? Are you doing okay? And Lulu's like, oh, I'm fine. Just tired. And so Reese accepts that and she and Skylar go to their rooms and Lulu goes to her own, closes the door, and just breaks down. And her thought process in sobbing is, I hope I'm not being too loud. Yeah, and so she lied as easily as she breathed. And I was like, Lulu, that is not a good mindset. Oh no! I was like, no, that hit hard. That one, that one hit hard because it was like, no, I remember having that type of mindset. No. Good, because we need to finish grocery shopping. And figure out who's making dinner. Come on, I thought we already went over this. The three of us continue shopping, and I get to hear the banter between my sisters again. I never noticed just how noisy my sisters could be. <laughs> Apparently. We make our way back to the apartment. The next day, I wake up to the sound of the sitting noise. I can't stand how noisy it is here. Oh, do not tell me your missing of Catherine is going to be related to the forest. I will smack you, Alice. How dare you? This makes, oh my god. It makes me miss how quiet the forest was. It was so perfect. So peaceful. Plus, I really miss her. I'm so sorry, Cat, that this woman... Her way of missing you... It's not your personality or anything about you. It's the fact you lived in the forest. Yeah! Alice! There was more to Kat than the fact she lived in the forest. Seriously? It could have been like somebody tries to flirt with Alice and Alice is just like, no, I, I miss Kat or something like that. I don't know. Anything else would have been better. What? <laughs> How many do we need? We need six, I believe. Yeah. Six. Life of a cat. Uh, excited to hang out with you. Dance the night away. And talk with V. Go sulk in the corner. And they dance anyway because... Yep. Okay, and now, it's, we have been given the key. And will Alice leave? 
Thank you, your majesty. I can go home and see my sisters again. But... I don't want to leave. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? It used to be what I wanted, but my perspective has changed. Plus, in the real world, I can never be myself. Here in Wonderland, I don't have to hide who I truly am. Besides, I don't want to leave Cat behind. Me and, um, Deadlock, I believe, were talking about this yesterday. If, like, we were put into a fictional world where you could be yourself, would we stay or not? And both of us were like, hell yeah, I'm staying. Well, it depends, you know, if there's any conditions or anything. But if I could just be myself, no, like, problems, <laughs> I'm taking that in a heartbeat, man. Besides, I don't want to leave Cat behind. Well, in that case, I will keep the key. After all, it's none of my business if you stay or leave Wonderland. Goodbye, your majesty. We're gonna walk away. Let's go home, Cat. Cat and I are sitting under one of the trees in the forest. I love just spending time with her like this. Yeah, that makes sense. Final Fantasy leads kind of heavy into stuff like that. That's still interesting. I had to write something down because I remembered. <laughs> the Final Fantasy remembered, made me remember. <laughs> she buries her face into my shoulder and, and lets out a yawn. Looks like someone is getting sleepy. What? The sunbeams must be strong today. Cat looks at me and rolls her eyes. Stop teasing me for being a cat. But it's just so fun. So, what does the future hold for us today? I see. A nap in my future. Hooray, weird memory trick. Right though? <laughs> Every once in a while, just... Be like, there's a word or a sound and my brain would be like, Oh, I remember this thing now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> I'll well write it down. I see a nap in my future. I let out a laugh as Cat stretches her arms over her head. Sometimes she's just so cat-like it's funny. I hope every day is like today for the rest of our lives. Okay. And now, now we go through the heartbreak. A cat's intuition. Maybe we'll get to know what like she saw. <sighs> The sun feels especially nice today. I stretch up my arms in front of me as I revel in feeling of the sunspots hitting my skin. Which tree should it be today? <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. Hmm. The one I found yesterday had a nice, comfortable branch. <laughs> this is what I imagine, like, cats, like stray cats, think like. Like, hmm. Which tree? Which neighbor? You know, which yard should I stay in today? Well, the yard over there has good, good trees. <laughs> like, stuff like that. But where was it? I pat around the forest, gazing up at all the trees. There you are. Running myself to jump, I bend my back knee and pounce up. My hands grasp onto the nearest branch and I pull myself up. Nice. Now I just gotta get nice and comfortable. I wiggle my body to fit into all the crevices of a branch. She's a part that gives me fish. Decisions. Exactly! Decisions. We have, like... Oh, we had a, a stray cat. There was a, a, like... White stray cat. And then there was, like, an orange stray cat. And they were in love. <laughs> because they had a couple of kittens. And the kittens really liked our backyard. Because our backyard has sort of, like... A, a pile of branches that they like to hide under. Which I was like, fair. But, we own two dogs. So, the dogs did not like the cats. And also, my mom doesn't like cats. Which is kind of fair. 
It's kind of fair that my mom doesn't like cats. But, I like cats. But yeah, it was interesting to have the stray cats. To see them. Yeah, on the other hand, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. They had to leave. Uh, they just eventually, because of Casey, like stopped coming by. But it sucked! Because I really liked seeing the kitty cats. But also, it was like, fair. <laughs> Wouldn't want to be around the house that has just a shaking door and a terrifying animal behind it. <sighs> Have I told you guys the reason why my mom doesn't like cats? Because, like, I like cats and I've owned cats before. But my mom doesn't like them at all. And she has an actual good reason to not like them. Which was like, she didn't do anything. Or they didn't do anything to her. But. Okay. So, my dad. Little baby dad. Uh. I think I've said my mom is my grandmother, but I call her mom. Because. Trauma. <laughs> um. But. My mom, essentially, is the true mother of my dad. And when they were getting, when my grandmother and grandfather were getting a house together, one of the houses they looked, like, looked at, um, my dad, little baby dad, got to walk around a bit. And it was like a clean house, it was a show type of house, but apparently the owners had a cat. The cat wasn't there, but there was still like cat hair. And uh, that day, they learned my father was allergic to cats. So since then, would you believe, grandmother of mine doesn't really like cats, given they almost killed her son. And yeah. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It's like, on one hand, you want to be like, not all cats are like, like that, first of all. Uh, but the other hand, you're like, okay, but that's kind of fair that she doesn't like them, if that's why, you know? But it sucks, like, for me, because it's like, I can never own a cat. <laughs> as much as I love them, I can't have one. <laughs> It's fine. I can have any other animal but cats. And also snakes. Mom's terrified of snakes. Anyway, <laughs> back to Catherine. I wiggle my body to fit in the crevices of the branch and let out a satisfied sigh. Perfect. There's nothing more of life that I could ask for than to just be able to lounge around like this. But do you think they're so cute? Uh, yeah, I think they're cute. I think they are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> when autocorrect, don't want to be autocorrecting. <laughs> also, I understood. Um, but yeah, danger noodles are adorable. Mom's scared of them. I don't remember why, but she told me that there was there was a reason why. She's scared of them. I just don't remember what it was. I like snakes, but I don't think I could own a snake simply because I would forget I owned a snake, <laughs> and then <laughs> I'd wake up. There'd be a snake around my arm, and I'd and sleep at old haze and be like ah <laughs> by total accident. So, but danger noodles are adorable. Apparently, my dad, when, uh, before I was born, but close to it, um, exactly, right, long cuddle, buddy. <laughs> Be pure accident, but I'd feel bad, so let's not do that. But my dad had a group, like, was living with roommates, and one of his roommates had a, I believe, a python. I believe it was a python. Um, and 
cat's name was like Sandy or something, but my dad moved out of there. And I asked him why, I was like, oh, why? He was like, because you were born. <laughs> and I felt it wasn't appropriate to have a, t a baby near a snake, as well behaved as that snake was. <laughs> I was like, that's kind of fair, actually. <laughs> as curious as a kid I was, yeah. Uh, I was 100% the kid that had um a leash. <laughs> yeah, I was a leash kid, so <laughs> it was like that's fair. <laughs> I believe he said like his roommate's name was Dave or something, which I also found funny because I was like, well, I don't know why. Oh, that's just the most basic roommate name in a way, and I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, interesting things I learned about my dad. My dad has just the most interesting stories and things um, that he told me about his life. And I was just here like, why? How did that happen? And I'll just be like, yeah, life. What? <laughs> my family's very interesting that way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, Dave, Dave is a very default name. <laughs> I guess that's what made me laugh. Anyway, back to Catherine. That's why I live out here in the first place. With the perfect sunbeam hitting me, my eyes start to shut on their own. Now, time for today's regularly scheduled nap. Just as I close my eyes, my whole body jolts suddenly. Uh-oh. What is this feeling? My eyes flick around the trees looking for something to readjust. Ugh. Okay. Something about today feels odd. I'm going to check the transfer room. Damn. Reshuffle, please. So this is the second bad end. So this is... <gasps> I watch Alice hovers her hand over the spread of tarot cards I've laid out in front of her. Her eyes are focused as she moves her hand over each individual card. I'm glad she's taking this seriously. With a delicate gesture, she points her f puts her pointer finger on one of the cards. She's picked one. I remove the card from the spread. You're doing great, just two left. After a few more movements of concentration, Alice picks the final two cards and I quickly gather up the remainder of the deck and place it off to the side. Feeling encouraged by Alice's curiosity, I give the deck a light tap on the table. All right, cat, even though it's Alice, stay professional. <laughs> All right, today I'll be reading your past, present, and future. Trying to customer service me, I see. She saw right through me. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, let's take a look at our cards. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look, I don't know much about tarot cards, but even I know that's not a good combination. The star, the devil, and the moon. That's a foreboding reading if I've ever seen one. I look up at Alice's face. Her eyes lit up with anticipation. There's no way to cover up the meaning. Yeah. Of this reading, even if I wanted to, especially with the devil thrown in there. On the other hand, a reading like the <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> oh no, it does not mean it is good. On the other hand, a reading like this is only going to put a damper on her mood for the rest of the day. I have to think past. Aha! Hey, go ahead and close your eyes for me. Huh? Is that normal for tarot readings? It is now. Close your eyes, Alice. No, but it's, uh, a special touch of mine. She eyes me skeptically, but sheepishly closes her eyes. If you say so, whatever you need to, me to do, I guess. With her eyes shut, I reach for the deck of cards and begin humming loudly. <laughs> Dano. It might not say it, but I am curious what those mean. Because I like tarot cards, but I forget their meaning sometimes. 
So if you remember, can you tell us? If you don't remember, that's fine too. Mm. Sorry, yeah, the devil indicates a sudden change. Mm. And Moon Oh no. <laughs> oh, for a dear Alice in Wonderland? Yeah, that does not sound good. Is... Is humming a part of your special touch as well? Absolutely. Have to keep it entertaining. Quickly, I fix... Flip through the deck to find some replacement cards. Come on. What would seem fitting? Let's see. If I think about how she came here, maybe a little bit of this. Perfect. Death, Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers! Isn't it? I know very little about... Yeah! tarot cards but I'm pretty sure <laughs> like I know the lovers is a kind of good card but it depends on which way it's flipped right because that's also a thing yeah that's what I was thinking I was like aren't these cards like the most notorious for having two sides of the coins type thing Oh no. But also, even if you were to change out the cards, that doesn't change the fact the original cards that she picked out. It, like, because tarot cards are sort of the thing that relies on fate, right? So, her fate is sealed with the original cards she drew. Changing it isn't going to do anything. At least that's how I think. Anyway. <laughs> I silently placed the remaining cards back in their original spot on the table. Okay, Alice, you can open your eyes. With her eyes back on me, I take the three cards and place them in line in front of her. Your past, present, and future are laid out before you. We'll be starting with your past first. Given how badly her tarot card reading went... I could see why she kicked her out. <laughs> I would too. Stray cat. I let out a huff as I refluff the pillow that rests behind my back currently. The a perfect sunbeam appears on the floorboards next to me. Matters out of the major arcane the tower the only guaranteed bad and meaning and usually bad meanings are saved for reverse states yeah yeah that's what i thought um <laughs> so <laughs> cat <laughs> cat's like no yeah you know if i was like a fortune teller and somebody's fortune was like yeah so they're gonna be murdered in a few days i would kick them out too <laughs> Like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's a sunny day. Today, I wonder if I should go outside. My body sinks further into the pillow. No. I don't really feel like leaving my house today. Same. I reach my hand around to rub the back of my neck. Leaving my house. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I glance around my living room and a shiver goes down my spine. There's so many memories of her still here. How could she do this to me? No. She's not to blame. I should have never let her get under my skin if she was just going to leave. Damn. I shift on the couch and let out a sigh. Will I ever to will I ever be able to fill this hole you left in my heart? I look out the window as if looking for something or someone. Cat Oh. Death will for anything from if you sacrifice your old, you'll find love and fulfillment. To you will die alone in a debt. <laughs> Order. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Oh no. <laughs> you will die alone and be in debt. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, 
No. <laughs> I, I I understand the yelling 100%. A game of cat and mouse. I let out a yawn and stretched my arms over my head. Poor cat, though. Really, though? Poor cat. Poor cat having to deal with that. But also, understandable cat kicking Alice out after a premonition. Really bad. <laughs> premonition. Given cat's, like, on the run, her whole backstory is that she quite literally could be killed if she went too close to the heart's kingdom. So... Kind of fair if somebody who had the premonition of death with them... I'd kick them out too! Like, goodbye. I don't want to die. What a beautiful day, and what a great nap that was. I look around at the ground and notice a blonde girl wearing a blue dress walking by. She's new. That must be the person I had a vision about earlier. Hey there, cutie. She jumps slightly and looks around surprised. Up. Aww, what a cute reaction. What? Who said that? She looks around and shakes slightly. Oh no, poor girl. Above you. She looks up at the tree above her and narrows her eyes at me. I think she might need glasses. Can she really not see me? The moment our gazes... The moment we finally meet gazes, she looks at me with wide eyes. Oh! Hello up there. Hello. I'll come down and properly introduce myself. I grab hold of the branch under me and swing off the tree, landing gracefully on the ground in front of the girl. <laughs> My name's Catherine. You can call me Cat for short. Short. What's your name, cutie? Oh, right. My name's Alice. It's nice to meet you, Cat. She smiles at me. Aw, what a cute smile she has. You wouldn't know where I could find someone named Wendy, would you? Oh, she's looking for Wendy? I wonder if she's the reason Alice is in Wonderland. Someone short, with white hair and rabbit ears? Yes, that's the one! I saw her pass by a little while ago. She was heading east. Thank you. I'm not from Wonderland, so I was a little lost. Silly girl. I already knew that. Oh, I can tell you're not from around here. I remember a cute face like yours. Th thank you? Her blush just makes her even cuter. Since you're new around here, why not take some time to look around and enjoy the view? I know you're looking for Wendy, but if I were you, I would have an adventure. Cat. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> Catherine. No fucking way. Thank you, Cat, but I'm gonna get a move on. Goodbye! I'll keep the adventure thing in mind. Until we meet again. I watch her make her way further into the forest. I think Wonderland just got a little more interesting. <laughs> oh, poor Alice. <laughs> like, just, Alice just... I love from Alice's point of view, that entire interaction was so strange to her. She was like... What? Like, this girl flirted with me and I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Catherine was just over here like, Huh. It's interesting to have someone not from this world here. I want to mess with her. <laughs> best girl! We get to do best girl now. Oh no, we get to... We have to watch Alice hurt best girl. Nobody can save easily. And now we have V. Kit, yeah! I was like, damn. <laughs> I didn't know Alice. I didn't know Wonderland was chill like that. Meanwhile, Cat was just like, <laughs> I shall mess with you. No way, we're skipping through. 
everything. And so, polite V, we like you come in. Our one and only point is she likes reading books. You can see, which is ironic now that I think about it, because now that we know V's lore, it's very ironic for Alice to go to the Queen of Hearts and say, yeah, I really like V because she reads a lot of books and we bonded over that fact. Mm-hmm. Did she tell you about a particular book or just books in general? What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I would have thought you would have seen the Alice in Wonderland book by now, but whatever. <laughs> like, Morgana fully knows that V has the Alice in Wonderland book. Which is probably why Morgana's like, Why? Is she wanting to get to know you? Yeah. And then we do our save. Oh, let me put the thing. Let me put the check mark. Oh. Uh, don't tell her. I love V so much. That was it. Sounds like it was pretty boring then. Think I think she believed me. Thank goodness, I don't see her upset. V just does not care. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're not gonna tell me about it, what it does? Thank goodness. I didn't want to know anyway. <laughs> now it's Wendy da da. I was thinking of moving out. I was thinking of staying here. V's eyes move to the front of the building. You want to move into the inn? Do you have <laughs> any money? That's how I expected this to go down. I don't. I suppose I would need to do something. I would need some to do that, right? No kidding. Do you think the owner's just gonna let you stay there for free? No, I suppose they wouldn't. Now I feel stupid. <laughs> I hang my head and let out a dejected sigh. Were you seriously thinking of moving out though? What good would that do you? Huh? What do you mean? I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want me around for very long. <laughs> Neither of us really have a choice in this matter. You don't have the means to move out, and now that you're with me, you're my responsibility. Her responsibility? Does she really think that? You're stuck with me whether you like it or not. <laughs> Thanks, V. I think I needed to hear that. <laughs> V's just stating facts as Alice is like, damn. Magic. <laughs> You're so intelligent. And now, stupid dumbass Alice route. Goodbye, V. I appreciate you giving me a place to stay, but I really need to go home. Even if I can't find my way back, I'll just return here. Time to get going. We want to get through the woods. Being 200% real with us while Alice makes more decisions. Right though? <laughs> and now Alice is gone. And now V is probably not going to care. I walk out of my room while stretching. <sighs> it's time to get up and set up the class for today. I might as well have Alice help me again. <laughs> I walk over to wake her up only to see she's not on the couch. That's strange. Where is she? Alice, are you in the bathroom? I knock on the bathroom door, but I don't hear a reply from inside, let alone any sound. I'm starting to worry. Where could she have gone? Sure, she's a pain in the butt sometimes. Sometimes? You and I have very different ideas of sometimes. She's like 90% pain in the butt and then 10% smart decisions. But that doesn't mean I want her to disappear. Oh, you're a good person, V. I head over to the door to start looking for her. Searching for her. When my hand reaches the door, not my stop. <sighs> Called it. It's not my job to watch over her. She's her own person. If she wants to leave, that's her choice. It's not like I can change her mind. I look at the pile of yoga mats that sit in the corner of the room. I should continue sitting up for class.
Yep. <laughs> v just is like, oh, well, sucks. We'll leave three now. Tell her, because she doesn't care. She called you rude. Yep. One, two. I'm actually check, because I'm not scrolled down. Why? Okay, there it goes. Bitter Caterpillar was the ending. Too weak is the other ending. And it is two to three points. One, two, so this is third. Uh, I was wondering about the group of girls. Let's either do a save on the next one. Oh, I love that I cannot turn too far with this model. <laughs> she just glitches out so badly. Anyway. Actually, that was pretty funny. Hold on. She's been so cold lately. Lately? Rather than always? They have a point. V seems pretty cold to other people. Yes, lately. You see, well, living with her a few days, da 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 da. No. No. Don't make it be on this scene. Don't make it be on this scene. I love this scene. You looked extremely tense when I came out of the gym. And don't even think for a second I didn't catch that red mark on your wrist. I know they said something to you. You're not acting like yourself. I knew it. Alice, don't listen to them. I know what they do. They're just trying to scare you away. Please. They've scared away so many already. I can't afford to lose you, too. Do you mean that? Of course. Jeez. I would keep them breathing classes if I could. Da 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 da. These are all... What are these for? <laughs> I don't remember. No. Quickly, okay. Poor V. Poor V. Yeah, poor V. It's probably why V is so cold to everyone. So the, those... Her little fan group don't scare off any others. And just leave her alone. Anyway... Oh. Pretty sad I can't even touch my clothes, right? Actually. Hey, wait, wait, don't agree with me. But you're not wrong. If you aren't able to touch your clo your toes, who knows how long it will take to catch up to my class. Not too long, I hope. She looks at me with eyes full of sympathy. Very long, then. Maybe too long. There's probably not enough time to get you even close before the next session. What? Isn't there anything I can do? I don't think there is. Actually, I don't know how safe it is for you here. For you to stay here. Oh no! What? V! Especially now that they... No. No, V! V! <laughs> Try to protect Alice. 
You're kidding me. You're kicking me out? All because I can't- No, Alice, it's not because of Mmm, mmm, fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, like, V comes across as, like, definitely, um, mean and, like, cold. But, like, the more you get to know her, it's definitely clear why she comes across like this. And why she is like this. <laughs> and meanwhile, Alice the dumbass being like, Because I can't touch my toe- No, Alice. Because, you know, her fangirls have- Pretty much scared everyone out of V's life. And now they know that you live with her. She's worried they're gonna come after you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Your safety is more important to me. And I know how nasty that group can get. You know what? V st quickly stands stood up off the mat. It's probably best if you left today. T today But V, I don't have anywhere to go. She scratches the top of her head furiously. I know, but listen, I can't risk you getting hurt. They could come back anytime they wanted, even today. As long as you're here, you're not safe. So you want me to just leave? After how close we've gotten, I'm just supposed to stand up and leave? Yes, Alice! Please. The longer you stay, the harder this will be. Yeah, poor V. V, I'm so sorry. I stare up at V in silence. Finally, I sigh and stand up. Look, V, I'm a ghost. They can't- they can't hurt me. <laughs> I'll stay with you. Fuck Alice. You don't need Alice. Fine. I'll go. Good luck with your class. Maybe you should cut ties with that fan club of yours while I'm gone. She has! She quite literally told you, Alice, that she's tried to cut ties with them several times and they kept finding her. At some point... You don't know what else to do. And just like that, I'm back in the forest with no place to go. It feels like just yesterday I was completely lost in these trees. My mind wanders back to my first meeting with V. She was so cold back then. A small exhale leaves my lips. I should have known I could never be around someone like her. Damn, Alice. Oh well, I tried. Damn. The fuck? Huh? Huh? What do you mean, question mark? Alice? My head whips around. Alice, no. Alice, no! Did I? Did someone just say my name? Wait, who does this when I'm asking? Who is this? Hello? I met with the sound of rustling leaves in response. Strange, I swear I heard. Oh, Catherine! Cat! Alice! Ah! Oh my gosh! Don't scare me like that! Cat, what are you? <laughs> I couldn't help it. You look so easily easy to startle. So what are you doing back out here in the forest? You lost? No? Yes? I don't know. Maybe? How do you not know if you're lost? Well, I've just been kicked out, so I don't really know if there's any place I really need to be. Goodness! Kicked out? How terribly rude of me. Cat! <laughs> yeah, I don't know why all this- You do know why! She told you! <laughs> Alice! Wait. How do you know I was with V? I live here too, you know. I saw you w you and V walking around together, so I figured as much. Oh, I had no idea you lived here as well. Of course. That makes me think. How about you stay with me from here on out? That is, unless you want to wander Wonderland forever. You know, why not? I'd rather have a place to stay. You fall people should know. I feel like Kat does know, but she's trying to save face, you know? Like, she's not trying to let on the fact that she has powers too early. Wait, hold up. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah, so I get- Oh, damn. Damn. Can you imagine that? Kicking someone out because there's a group of people that you know will come after them. Yeah, I think she is! I think she is! But even if it's not like Cat is doing that, just imagine V's point of view. 
of you just kicked this girl that you really like out because you're scared that these people who refuse to leave you alone might actually legitimately hurt her and have hurt her because the one of them grabbed Alice's wrist and left a mark on her. So yeah, I, if I was V, I would be scared too. And then you see someone, the only person in Wonderland that is semi your friend walking around with her and flirting with her. If I was V, I would not leave my house. <laughs> be like, nope. Nope. Like, even if Kat is not actually trying to be a rebound and just trying to give Alice comfort. From V's perspective? Ow. Sure, lead the way. Hooray, come with me. V isn't allowed to be happy. Apparently. Ow. This is gonna be so much fun. Cat scampers off into the forest. Right before I follow, I find myself looking back towards the direction of V's house. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> Ow. Anyway, now we have to do the in-between ending. In which... A new morning routine. Four to five. So this is three. So this is four. And we have to do one more. And now we just have... Do this. The nightmare scene. What dumbass excuse is Alice gonna make this time? I had a nightmare. My body is just sore. Oh. <laughs> You can tell, like, V is cold, but she does care. Of, like, Alice's stupid excuse of, yeah, my body is just sore. Is, maybe I should tone down the intes intensity of your training. If you're in this much pain, it'll do more harm than good in the long run. Does it, where does it hurt the worst? <laughs> it's fine, I'm just being a baby about it, if you say so. But please, tell me, seriously, tell me if your it hurts too much. We can just take it easy. Yes, ma'am. Oh, poor V. I feel nervous. And then we'll just speed around all the others. Hi, Reese! How you doing? And talk with V. Oh, hey! I didn't notice the, like, gradient on her dress. That's pretty. Yeah, and we don't dance in this route because it's the neutral route. And now... Thank you so much, your majesty. I hold out my hand at... Okay. And Morgana drops a key into them. I can go home and see my sisters. I'm sure they've missed you. All you have to do now is put the key in the transfer room door and it should take you home. Please take V with you, as I will need you to return the key before you leave. It is property of Wonderland, after all. Of course, your majesty. With excitement in my steps, V and I head to the transfer room. Even though we're traveling through the forest at night, we seem to find it without trouble. This is the door. Home, here I come. I've missed my sisters so much. Thank you for coming with me, V. It's the least I can do. I'm gonna miss you, V. V grabs my shoulder and gives it a soft but firm squeeze. I'm gonna miss waking up- Miss waking you up every day. Why? I was just an annoyance this whole time. <laughs> that I agree with! But anyway, 
I should probably get going. She raises my shoulder as I walk around to unlock the door. Once I turn the key, the door opens on its own and bright light emanating from it. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye. I slip through the door and get whisked away. Before I know I'm waking up on the street. Oh my gosh, Alice, are you okay? My sisters hold out their hands to me and I grab onto them to get up. You scared us, suddenly running off and falling over. I brush off my skirt, brush the sk blah, 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 and expect myself for any injuries. I'm okay though. Good, because we need to finish grocery shopping and figure out who's making dinner. Come on, I thought we already went over this. The three of us continue shopping and I get to hear that banter between my sisters again. It's good to be back home again. The next morning, I sit on the living room, sit on the floor in the living room. Okay. Time to stretch. I'm interrupted as Edith walks into the room and stops to stare at me. Since when do you s did you start to exercise? Recently? Well, good for you. If you want to ever want to go to the gym with me, let me know. I nod my head as Edith makes her way to her bedroom. That might be nice, but it won't be the same as her teaching me. Tears start to roll down my cheeks once I realize what I had left behind, or rather, who I left behind. That's poor V. <laughs> Wonder how V's reaction is. I didn't make a save, damn it. So four. Five. This is finally V gets to be happy route. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Six. Okay. Now we have to do the stupid answers. at least this route like the, the final one is the happy route but I am sad because this is my favorite character and Sink or Sad Hurts and then they dance anyway Wee! good fest to her thank you your majesty I can go home and see my sisters again but I don't want to leave. You don't want to go home? It used to be what I wanted, but my perspective has changed. Plus, in the real world, I can never be myself. Here in Wonderland, I don't have to hide who I truly am. Besides, I don't want to leave V behind. Well, in that case, I will keep the key. After all, it's none of my business if you stay or leave Wonderland. Goodbye, your majesty. We're gonna walk away. Let's go home, V. Alice, can you grab the other half of the yoga mats? Sure, no problem. I walk over to the pile of mats V pointed to and easily pick them up, bringing them over to where the rest have been piled. V grabs me by the waist and kisses me on the cheek. I'm so proud of how far you've come, Alice. Just uh, just months ago, you couldn't lift even one mat, let alone multiple at once. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without such a great teacher. Oh yeah? Why don't you tell me more about this teacher of yours? <laughs> well, she's incredibly smart, strong, and... And what? V leans her face close to- Oh, I'm getting flustered. Sorry. <laughs> and I feel her breath against my lips. Attractive. V rolls her eyes and pulls me in for a kiss. Hi, Nappa. Oh, no, no. Hi, Nappa. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool to get a fit, Alice. Um, art. <laughs> Hi. Napa, may I introduce V, the the very hot caterpillar? <laughs> I 
I couldn't have asked for a better girlfriend. We pull apart as we both jump slightly in shock. The class is here. V doesn't release her hold on my waist. V, we should finish setting up. I know, but just a little longer. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Nappa. <laughs> I'm streaming Thursday and Friday like normal times. I just didn't stream last week, so it was like I need to make up those streams, sort of thing. V pulls me in for one quick, one more quick kiss. Okay, I think I'm ready now. I let out a laugh as V releases me. I could be, I couldn't be any more happy than right now. And now. The bonus scenes. The bonus, the bonus scenes. Advice from a cat. Oh. Oh. That's concerning. This is for the bad end. Mm, no, you didn't. <laughs> Who was it? It was Dino and somebody else. Bass? Was it Bass? Oh, I don't remember who was here for the- when we were going down the route. But they- they're the ones who truly caught me in 4K given how flustered I was that stream. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not absorbing any of these sentences. Oh. I cite a bookmark between the pages and shut the book. After grabbing my hookah- Pen and standing outside, it takes me no time to find my favorite spot. The musher groans a little under my weight as I lean against it. Classic guy. <laughs> For real though. <laughs> There's there will always be one character that I get flustered over. Lean against it. Feeling comfortable, I bring the pen to my lips and take a puff of smoke. Ah. Much better. Faster than I was doing quick maths to make sure you were 18 for saying anything. You were, you were. <laughs> I had zero. Both of us had zero shame. We were like, damn. <laughs> I think you quite literally said, like, oh, thank goodness you did this character after you turned 18. <laughs> Oh, much better. I look upwards at the small patch of sky peeking between the trees and close my eyes. God, <laughs> you did. <laughs> All the tension in my body escapes as I lose myself to the bird song and the rustling of leaves. My relaxation is short-lived as I notice an unusually loud creak within the trees. Hello, Catherine. It's been a while since I've seen you here, Catherine. You have skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn, I thought I I was being sneaky. Her footsteps thud against the ground as she jumps out of the tree above me. I can tell when you show up. It's usually pleasantly quiet when you're not around. Oh, you know you enjoy my company. Sure. So what brings you here? You need something? Do I need a reason to visit an old friend? Yes, I only do meetings by appointments nowadays. Boo. You're no fun. Like I said, these two's friendship is interesting to me. I- I genuinely is like... Cat is one of the only people it seems V actually trusts, you know? So which makes the whole leaves V for Catherine ending so much worse. But I just wanted to let you know to keep an eye out today. I've got this feeling something is about to happen. She should probably stay out here for a little while longer. Uh-huh. Whatever you say. Just me! I swear something's gonna happen today. I'll leave alone, though. Think about what I said. And as quickly as she came, she scampers off into the trees. I suppose I could stay out here for a bit. Well, with Cat, you know it's not personal if she screws you over. True, true, true. It's not like anything will actually happen and then Al shows up. Inflexible. 
All right, what's first? We're going to do some light stretching so we don't strain your muscles later. Those in the protag here? Oh no, Alice is the protag. These are the bonus scenes, which typically are from the love interest's point of views, and they either give background context or more, um, what happens after endings sort of things. The, the first bonus scene with V is like before Alice showed up. So, that's why Alice meets, yeah, that's why Alice meets V. And so this one, yeah, so this is some extra bonus scene of V trying to train Alice, <laughs> trying to get Alice into exercise because Alice wants to join her class. Does she even know any stretches? I didn't quite think this through. What exactly is her skill level? Let's see. Something everyone knows how to do. Let's start with touching your toes. Even you should know how to do that. Of course I can. Yeah. Is there... I want to know more about Wonderland, man. Based. It is based. Um... <laughs> I want to know what, more about Wonderland because obviously V runs her own class, right? V, I'm pretty sure V does yoga, but I don't remember. No, not yoga. No, it is yoga. Um, but I want to know, like, does Wonderland have a gym? Do they not? I know there's only one in. What, what exactly does Wonderland have and don't have, you know? Like, do they have restaurants? We know they have a marketplace. But are there, like, specifically restaurants or general stores or anything like that? Or is everything bought at the market? Does everyone know how to cook? <laughs> of course I can. Perfect. Then let's begin. Hold this pose for 10 seconds. I place my legs in front of me and reach for my toes. With a pose a symbol of this, there is no way she can mess it up. And then she did. Immediately, I could tell Alice is struggling. <laughs> what is she doing? All she needs. Oh, God. I need a microwave, man. At least give me a microwave. I mean, I could live without the restaurants if, you know... That's fine. I know the basics of how to cook. But no microwaves. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> How hard can it be? Her body bends forward ever so slightly before immediately straightening back out. Oh, for the love of... Not necessary. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are a necessary item to me. <laughs> look, 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 look. In my defense, it's because I get hyperfixated and I forget to eat. And then I get really hungry and I haven't eaten anything. And I don't have the energy to actually make something... To eat, I need a microwave to heat something up to eat it, even if it's something small, so I can have energy to get myself an actual meal. <laughs> they are a necessary item to me. <laughs> I enjoy baking. I don't cook as much. Just simply my father's track record with cooking. <laughs> This me to enjoy baking more. But baking is a lot. It's very relaxing. I like baking a lot. It's nice to bake. And make garlic bread. That too. I want garlic bread now. <laughs> kind of, kind of. I'll give you that one. Oh, for the love of... Just bend forward, Alice. No need to think... No need to think about it that much. She flinches violently. How does one flinch, flinch violently? Like, this is a popular sentence in writings and stuff. But I'm genuinely wondering, how do you flinch violently? <laughs> like, like, if you're... It feels like flinching is just like... Ah, uh, but if you're 
put aluminum in your microwave? No. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. That's how you break a microwave. You don't put metal. You don't put any aluminum. Styrofoam. Anything like that. You don't put it in the microwave because that's how you break it. With styrofoam, if it heats up, you could end up accidentally setting the styrofoam on fire. And then your microwave's gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't put metal, you don't put aluminum, you don't put styrofoam in the microwave. She flinches violently. Of course! Her body crashes forward. A ouch. I was hoping she would at least know how to do this. Poor V. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, because I would think, like, flinching violent. Like, when you flinch, you're like, ah. It's hard to portray when I'm an avatar here, okay? But. <laughs> mm. Um. But, like, flinching is, like, a small motion of, like, being startled. You would flinch. Or being spooked. S something like that. But it's usually a small motion. So, to flinch violently implies that it's a big emotion. Or a big shake or something like that. But I feel like there are better words than flinches violently. Is he dead? I don't think he's dead, given, like, microwaves are... You at least have some time to get it out of being fire, but there is no guarantee it will work anymore. <laughs> have you ever wanted to be a D&D &D character? Put aluminum in the microwave! <laughs> Sorry, that's what came into my head. I, I, I was listening and there was an audio that was like, there's no I in teams, but there are six eyes in fuck it. I don't care how big the room is. I cast fireball. Yeah? <laughs> this is just the audio. It was funny. It was very, very funny. <laughs> anyway, go back to me being frustrated that Alice doesn't know the basics of ex- Alice, how do you not know the basics of exercise? Have you not been to school? Don't schools have, like, a, a test where they test how, like, your physical capabilities because of PE? Like, I know Americans, we have the fitness gram pacer test, which has just become an all-around meme <laughs> at this point. <laughs> It'll always be hilarious when someone's like, what's the fitness gram pacer test? And you're like, the fitness gram pacer test is a multi robust test. Anyway, <laughs> Miles, how do you not know how to do this? Really? I'm actually okay with that. Because it was weird. Yeah, that too. Alice, how do you not? Alice, are you alive? That's the biggest question. My girl is in college. She should have at least... Her sister is a gym. Goes to the gym. You didn't... You don't know how to do anything? <laughs> Look, I've never been to the gym and I still know how to exercise, man. <laughs> but it is cool that they're phasing it out. Like, it wasn't bad, but it also was just boring to do it. Because the fitness gram baser test was just went on forever. Oh. I don't think PE. I don't think people would be getting rid of physical education. I think they'd be phasing out the um, fitness gram pacer test. Because, like, one of the things, too, was, like, 
you couldn't talk to your friends even if you finished the activity but you also had to wait until everyone else was done yeah yeah it was annoying because i remember these two kids were like competing with each other during one of the tests and it just was going on forever i would figure it's it's an american thing Most it's the test, but I've heard. Oh. Huh. I mean, okay. There was a writing portion of the fitness gram patient test, wasn't there, Dino? If I'm remembering correctly, there's a written part. Because I vaguely remember there actually being a random part and I was so upset about it because I can't write on anything unless it's like a top of a folder or a notebook type of thing. And they were like, yeah, just write on the hardwood floor. <laughs> That's not going to be hard or anything. It was, it sucked. Um, But it is interesting to be... Ah, Dino got lucky. <laughs> not just, not really. Um, it's interesting that they're phasing out PE. I kind of understand that, though, because PE kind of sucked. Like, those who liked PE were good at it. I feel like... PE got way too much. Hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Because while there were some, like, good moments in PE, there were a lot of moments of, are you kidding me? Because one thing I remembered was having to run the mile. And I physically could not do that. Which I know now was because I was... Uh, didn't have the energy and was quite literally starving. <laughs> so I did not have the energy to run the miles, but you still had to do it. And people would get bad grades on in physical education because people couldn't do it so it's kind of understandable to be phasing out PE as a whole there's also the whole it being gendered a lot like boys play over here girls go over here and a lot of kids were just like uh why because <laughs> you had the the athletic girls who wanted to play with the boys because they were actually doing the thing while the rest were hanging out and chatting and I always felt bad for it. So it's interesting to be phasing it out as a whole. Hmm. And also depending on what time you got it. Like, you get you get it, like, it's if B is your first class. That too. Being active is important. I don't disagree with that. I do think there should be something else. I think P needs to less be phased out and more reworked. You know? Like, it's still good for kids to have the opportunity to get up and move around and have a, essentially a break. Um, especially because there's some... Yeah. Because there's some classes in which they're... Huh, that's interesting. My school was not like that. We had separated boys and girls, and it was by your biological birth. Um, which sucked for the recently... <laughs> Football was a boys club. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think PE needs to be reworked out as a whole. And co-ed teams should be more standardized. And hmm. I think there should be less grading on it as well. Because it was stro stro 
striked, I believe is the right word, striked me as weird, that PE was graded. Like, I understand, like, participation, sure, but, like, you couldn't run a full mile, so your grade is low? Seems very weird. <laughs> and very wrong. Like, oh, you can't do 10 jumping jacks? Well, minus three points off your grade. Like, that's weird. It feels like it should be more graded on participation and not your actual skill level, you know? But it's interesting to learn about either way. It's not like I have much say in it, so... Anyway, back to V. Looks like it's gonna be a long day. Is it? Oh, fan club reunion. I pick up the mats from. Oh, my P is the only. <laughs> Do you at least pretend to give a shit? Pass. Otherwise fail- Exactly! Exactly! I mean, you could play or do things during normal games, but if- Tournament, they could be gendered. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, P, it feels like not phased out per se, but reworked. Should be more... How they do it. Um, because kids definitely should still be able to have- the opportunity to get up and move. Um, but shouldn't have to worry about their grade falling because <laughs> they couldn't. They didn't run as fast as the other kids, you know? Um. And also less gendered as well. Because that caused a lot of torment for kids. Especially depending on how you looked. Because, you know, if you were transitioned and you looked... Let's say you were assigned female at birth and you transitioned into a guy. And you look very masculine. But you get to PE and they're like, oh, separate girls and boys. And you still have to go in the girls line? Like, that can be very grating on one's mental health. So, less gendering, it pass or fail, definitely thing. Mm. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I pick up the mats off the ground and let out a sigh. Oh great, those three dared to stay late again. I'm so happy, we haven't seen that stupid blonde girl around. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who are you talking about? You know, the blonde girl. <laughs> It was super cute. I forgot. I forgot V fan number three. Man, I wish these these three had sprites. I mean, we'll give this one. I would very enjoy reading it. Because it is an interesting topic. An interesting thing to think about. <laughs> but yeah, V fan number three is like, oh yeah, Alice. I really liked Alice. You're lucky then. Some, like, some of our schools were not... Mm, no. I especially had a teacher who straight... Ugh, I got unlucky. Because there was... The teacher, the PE teacher that all of us acknowledged was, like, the best to have. Because she was like that. She was like, if you at least gave a shit, you pass. If you don't, you fail. I got unlucky with the teacher that, like, quite literally was like... Why couldn't you run this mile in three minutes? Like, girl, I'm sorry. The fuck? She expected all of us to be in a certain amount of time. Like, yeah, we weren't allowed to be simply, like, three minutes. Yep, three minutes. <sighs> yeah, yeah. 
she pissed me off so much because it wasn't just me she picked on oh no oh <laughs> no 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 we did there were warm-ups but sometimes we didn't do any warm-ups because teachers were late and so you just run and I was unluckily had PE Oh no, 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 no. No, we had to do full mile. <laughs> we were not given half miles or anything like that. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, that would have been too kind. Getting us ready for that. No. She sucked so much. She docked points off my grade for not having. Okay, my family is not made of money. The school had Sun Mile. It was exactly Sun Mile. They were like, okay, you're gonna run the mile today. And showed us, you know, run across the entire field, which was a mile. Showed us the measurements and said, okay, do it. And the more you do it, you're gonna get better at it. Um, but I remember this woman took points off my grade because we had specific PE uniforms, which isn't strange, right? Some schools have PE uniforms. And my family got the first PE uniform, which was like shorts and a t-shirt. The problem is they ran out of the winter PE clothes, which was a pair of sweats and a long sleeve shirt when... Yeah, yeah, I eventually ended up walking too and just stick stuck by my friends because I was like, I do not give a fuck anymore. Um, but when we went to get the winter ones, they were out of my size, which was small. And so I was not able to get any. And when I went to class in the winter in the PE uniform... She, she docked points off my, my score because of it. She was like, you're not wearing the right uniform. I was like, bitch, I explained to you why I didn't have it. Well, I, your personal situation doesn't matter. Yes, Sky was very small because that was, small wasn't even the size. The t-shirt was giant on me in the small size. I was, they didn't have any extra smalls. So <laughs> small was the best I could get. Um, I am tiny. I am super tiny and super skinny. So, <laughs> it's not the test. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But yeah, no, this woman was just like, yeah, you don't, you don't have the right uniform. <laughs> she did that to other people too. She pissed all of us off so much so so much to the point where one day I remember being called out in the nice 100 points were um essentially oh that's hard to explain <laughs> what I remember is like A, B's, C's due to anger issues and that was the year I was supposed to do ah like how many points do you start with well you start with an A and Essentially, like, for simplicity states, we'll say an A is 100. And so, if you make a mistake, or God forbid, wear the wrong uniform, they can take points away, and your grade will slowly start to go down. So I had a D in physical education because of this woman. Because she kept taking points away for each assignment because of stupid, stupid little things. I tried to be a good child. Yeah. So, like, running the mile, let's say, is like an A. So it's 100%. 100 points. And so, because I couldn't run the mile in 
three minutes and let's say I had ended up finishing in six minutes she would take away points on that and maybe put it to yeah oh yeah it was crazy it was insane um that's what I was gonna say as well as I was called out on the second year or second the the next semester of middle school and because this is when the PE was happening and the the very nice teacher they are they are the very nice teacher was like hey i wanted to ask you about this teacher your opinion on her some like questions about her and i answered all of them truthfully obviously and i don't know but i think enough of the kids like i learned that one of one of the girls had spearheaded essentially to get that PE teacher fired because they were like she no she's clearly not grading us fairly she is taking advantage of the fact that and bullying some of the kids which she was like she would fully tell you if you couldn't do it something like oh how could you not you're useless stuff like that I think they actually got her fired, which was nice. We didn't have to deal with her. But yeah, no, she, PE teachers are weird. And there's like so many PE teachers that are horrible that get away with being horrible. Yeah, it was seriously good. I, w I am grateful that the next like people, the I don't remember what like middle school like the sixth graders wouldn't have to deal with her she was horrible but I felt bad for the hmm did she leave oh no the um the students one of the I believe she was an eighth grader she spearheaded sort of a campaign wow yeah yep sounds about right unfortunately um but one of the student one of the eighth grade students she spearheaded a cam sort of a campaign to get the girl f the teacher fired and actually ended up doing it and so the um the other teachers got sort of testimonies from other kids about how horrible that woman was and how horrible the teacher was and she actually did get fired not like it really mattered to me because i ended up moving away <laughs> but you know it was still nice yeah but yeah that them also prioritizing the athletes yeah that's also sounds about right i remember um the second like middle school i was at the um PE teachers one of them like in class started talking with us about how like pissed off she was and all of us didn't know what to do and we're like blatantly ignoring her for obvious reasons because uh, girl was a teacher but she was complaining to us about how the cheerleaders just existed she was mad that the cheerleaders were you know a recognized club? It was so weird. And the our cheerleaders were actually pretty damn good. I will fully give them credit. Was the teacher young? Um, not really. No. She wasn't old. But she was like 30s, 40s maybe? Calling her girl. Oh, just because I do that. <laughs> no, like, yeah, it's, um... Do not assume, like, woman or girl or any of that as any any indication of someone's gender when I'm talking about them. Because I just simply use whatever word sounds best type of thing. Yeah. Sorry if that confused anyone. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel bad because now it's like if I told a story and people are like thinking, Oh, damn. Why is she complaining about this um, young, young girl? It's like, no, 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 I swear. It's not. 
<laughs> Who's a fully grown woman? <laughs> Just call them that. Because it's like... Easier, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. PE teachers be wild. <laughs> it always made me curious. Because how does a PE teacher... Get the... Um, like... What do you have to go through to become a PE teacher? Because it seems like it's very easy, given the amount of really screwed up PE teachers there are. Would you just go walk in with a built, <laughs> athletic build, and they're like, okay, you're hired. Is that what it, that's what it feels like, man. I've heard so many people complain about how horrible their PE teachers were. Probably do a course. You would think. You would think. That's weird. Anyway, V fan number three flirting with Alice, even though she's not even here. Who? The girl who's trying to make moves on V. Well, you see, if you buy a check, <laughs> go to athletic academy. Maybe. Maybe. A lot of them. Okay, like. There were a lot of PE teachers that gave off the vibes of, I was a football, like, I was the quarterback when I was young. Vibes, if that makes sense. Like, that pushing everyone else to be exactly like them, despite people obviously not being like them. The girl who's trying to make moves on V. Oh. Her. Right. Mine was. Mmm. 100%. Yeah. Mmm. I had one PE teacher. I don't remember her. Her name. But she like... Military, man. <laughs> she had us doing military training exercises. And she told us this with like a smile. And we were like, what the fuck? We were so confused! We were like, uh, what do you mean? There was also no prep, no nothing. Straight up, here you go. <laughs> it was not good, it was not good. I, oh, thank goodness. I, <laughs> I had PE later in the day at this time. So I didn't have to deal with too much. It was kind of funny, but it also sucked so much. Um, but I had PE later in the day, and I ended up. This was during the time where I kept to hear about it. Yeah, to hear it's one of those like at the time horrible, but afterwards kind of funny. Um, it was first in the morning. Oh, that sucks. Mine was later in the day, but during this time, I ended up having a lot of panic attacks, so I had to leave home early. And also, I had therapy going on. So, luckily, I ended up skipping a lot of pee. <laughs> so, I didn't have to deal with her. But the few times I did go, she was just horrible. <laughs> this is the same- also, this was the same woman that complained about the cheerleaders. Still don't know why what she had against them. <laughs> Anyway, she was stupid to think V would ever want her. Okay. I've heard enough of these three. I make my way over to them. You three need to leave. Right now. Either was cool, though. No one let us, but encourage us to have snacks after that. That's smart! That's good! That's good. I had a I had a teacher that encouraged you to eat in her class. Because her class was like... Um... I believe early in the morning, like, she was the second class of the day, and she'd be like, yeah, if you guys need to eat, you can eat. Like, 100%, go for it. Oh. And it sucks too late in the day, sucks even more. Oh. I never had showers. My entire, every single PE class I've ever been in. Never had showers. <laughs> The locker room. Oh god, the locker room. <laughs> For one school, there was the showers were broken, so you couldn't use them, and they never fixed it. 
because they were cheap like that. Um, yeah, and then for the second one, they just didn't have showers, period. They were like, oh, fuck that. No. Yeah. We, we had locker rooms. And locker rooms were interesting. Luckily, one of them you had to fully change because of the PE uniform. And that was horrible. <laughs> and a lot of, a lot of the girls would go into the, like, where the showers were and go into the stalls that didn't have doors, by the way. All of us found that creepy and weird. But would go into the stalls and change there. Until the freaking PE teacher who would, you know, take points for you're not wearing the right uniform. Yeah, until she started to literally go in and take girls out of that area and be like, no, you have to change in front of your lockers. All of us hated her, man. She sucked. Um, but it was so, uh... Yeah, it was horrible. We were like, dude, none of us know each other that well. None of us wanted to change in front of one another. Why can't you just let us do that? Um, I think what I did, it was I was I would use the fact that my shirt was giant on me as a way to hide changing. So, I got lucky being tiny, but for others, you could tell how uncomfortable they were. And I always felt so bad for them. We also weren't allowed to leave the locker room and change in the bathrooms. Uh, luckily for the second one, they were a lot more lenient. And they were like, oh, if you want to change in the bathrooms, you can. Like, we don't, we, prefer, we prioritize your comfort over that. There were no walls to cover. They were not. No. There were no walls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. There. There were no walls. No. They. Mm, you just had to. The locker room. Like, you had the locker rooms. And the locker rooms were obviously in a giant room. And you had all the kids doing PE, you know, currently, whatever time of day it was, for that PE class, and you had to change right in front of your locker, and it was horrible. All of us hated it, all of us felt uncomfortable with it, but we were told to suck it up and you'd be doing it in high school anyway. Which <laughs> did not help, honestly. I don't know what they thought they were doing with that. <laughs> And so the second school I went to, when they were like, oh, no, you can change in the bathrooms if you feel uncomfortable. I was like, really? Dude. They wouldn't let us do that. And also, there wasn't a set uniform either. They were just like, whatever, like, wear something comfortable. The only uniform they had is to wear sneakers. In class or before coming to school. Yeah. Yeah, that's what people ended up doing. With stuff like that. Changing. Yeah. We'd all found creative ways to sort of change. That is also an aspect of PE I would completely rework. The whole not letting kids change in stalls and things like that. Class would be empty, of course. Yes. Yes. Mm. It was uncomfortable. Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, that's- I remember some girls doing that too. They would wear dresses and just take off the dress and there'd be their PE uniform underneath. It was fair. Yep. It's like, yeah. I My clothes were too, like, like I said, way too loose on me, so I couldn't do that. But yeah, I just used the fact they were loose on me as sort of a cover. It also didn't help. This was like, puberty- like, you're getting aware of your own body when we had to go through this, like, changing in front of everyone else. I feel so bad now, like, for others. You know, just like, ah! Why? Why? Is my question. It's like, why not, you know, let 
like put stalls in. You had an area. You could have done that. Why? Why force us to change in front of one another? That's just creepy and weird. And it was weird that one of the teachers would like patrol to make sure we were there. Like, what the fuck? There were some girls, like, they would take off points if you weren't wearing the PE uniform, okay? At the, the first school. And there were some kids who would just wear the uniform anyway. Or not wear the uniform. Would wear their clothes because they felt way too uncomfortable. And I was like, fair. Dude, fair. They were like, I'm willing to take the F because he'll know. Anyway, <laughs> we, we keep getting off topic of the game. <laughs> no game. You three need to leave right now. Color recipe. It was red and um white. Like an off-white type of color. Not a beige or skin, but just white with like gray in it. It was the... Were they at least comfy or cool design at least? It was like a lion. Um, because it was a school mascot and the school colors type of thing. They weren't comfy. No. The sweats weren't comfy. They felt very itchy. The long sleeve shirt didn't really keep you warm. The t-shirt was not the best material. And the shorts were just... Ugh. Oh, damn. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Creepy teachers. I don't remember if I've had any, like... Yeah, there was... It was wild that the teacher would patrol. Um. I don't know if there was any, like... Oh, there was! But I never... Yeah, okay. I feel like everyone's had at least one creepy teacher, right? And it's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, my creepy teacher, I didn't... I wasn't in his, like... Because we'd have several PE teachers, and then you'd be given a specific PE teacher that you were supposed to listen to, right? I was never in his class, ever. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was never in this specific guy's class. However, I ended up hearing that he and a teacher were caught doing not so great things with one another by a different teacher. So, and both of them got fired for it, which fair, fair as fuck. Oh yeah, no. What made this worse was that it was in the locker rooms that this apparently happened. And all of us were like, the fuck? But at least, at least it wasn't to the students, okay? I will give the creepy man and the creepy teacher that. At least it wasn't with a student. At least the students were left out of the whole, like, whole ordeal. But I do remember that. That they were fired for that. But other than that, I don't have any... Too creepy teachers. Just really sucky ones. <laughs> some good ones, some good ones, but... To be fair... I got the weird end of the stick of where most of my school life, I started, for the better or for worse, I don't remember if I had any. That's, that's probably for the better that you don't remember. Way too soon. So this thing is too fit. Oh my god. Oh my god, you have unlocked memories of my fucking chorus teacher. She sucked. So much! 
She was such a bitch to us. Because she was like that. She would yell at us and force us to sing and things like that. Girl, I tried to join chorus one year. And we were young, too. I was like, I wasn't 10. I was younger. I don't remember how old I was. Yeah, yeah. I was, oh my gosh. I was young and I just wanted to join chorus because it was like the cool thing. And she rejected me because I couldn't sing the low notes. I was like, girl, you are at an elementary school. The fuck you mean? I can't let you win because you can't sing low notes. That shouldn't matter. What? It was, it was weird. It was weird. Mmm, yeah. The singing in front of everyone was always so awkward and so uncomfortable. Yeah! Yeah! She was... Mmm. Mmm. She was... Mmm. I dreaded my turn. Mmm. You're fine, Dino. Um... But yeah, there was so much... <sighs> That chorus teacher, she was horrible. It it didn't help that she did everything else, too. Anything musically, she was in charge of. Which made everyone not want to do anything. Like, there was a talent show? Very people signed up because they knew it was being run by her. And they did not trust her. Whatsoever. Um... If I remember correctly, too, the song that we had to sing for the audition thing, because, oh my god, she had auditions, uh, was, like, Cure of the Bells. <laughs> Please tell me where the low notes are in that. <laughs> I was like, girl, what? It was... Mm. Mm. My voice was just, uh... I didn't really want to sing. Broken AF. I feel you. I didn't really want to sing. The only reason I wanted to join chorus the first time was to be with my friend who had gotten in and she really, like, she could sing. Yeah. She could, she could sing and I didn't want her to limit herself, but she was so scared to do it by herself that she was like, well, if you audition with me, then I'll think about it. And so I did. And she got in and I didn't. And I was like, well, I don't really give a fuck anyway. <laughs> Care of the Bell slaps. 100%. Great song. Great song. Chorus woman. Teacher. Girl. <laughs> Sucked. Um, yeah. Um, and then the next year, she, my best friend who had gotten in, <laughs> she felt bad that I hadn't gotten in and so she was like well can you um audition again I'm sure you'll get in this time and I I did it for her and I got in and she was so happy which also was confusing as hell <laughs> yeah yeah I did a lot for her like she wanted to be in the talent show I was fully willing to go with her we even practiced like a choreography court we practiced a dance together as well. Um, I did a lot for her. And she did a lot for me. Uh, but yeah, I ended up getting chorus. Like, it was so weird of like trying out for chorus the first year. The chorus teacher being like, oh, you can't have the low notes, so you can't be in chorus. The next year, going in, essentially doing the same thing, and her being like, ah, you're perfect. You can come in. It was so weird. <laughs> it's like. It's been a year. I don't think my voice changed that much in a year. It wasn't like I practiced or anything. Because again, I pu purely did this for my friend. Mm. Yeah. The thing with my friend is she genuinely could sing. 
and it was obvious that she wanted to get into chorus and stuff. Eh, I don't know if I was nice or just didn't care. I was sort of reaching a point in my life where I would kind of realized nobody cares what I do, so I'm gonna live how I want. <laughs> Not in the best way, but in the sort of sense of I was a tomboy, so nobody really cared what I did. Um, they just kind of ruled me out as, oh yeah, that kid, and walked away. So, I was able to stand up for a lot more of my friends. I mean, how she and me met was that this girl was bullying her by this, like, spot that I really I hung out at a lot and I was told the girl like hey back the fuck off and the girl was like who are you to tell me that and I was like I will fucking kick your ass if you want to <laughs> you want to entertain this let's go and which made the girl run off which made my best friend who wasn't my best friend at the time but you know our first meeting was me essentially telling the person that was bullying her to fuck off and that's how we became friends. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to explain to you. I didn't do it for you. I was just pissed off she was hanging out here and saying such things near me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's how I ended up meeting her. And I stood up for a lot of people and stood up for my friends. And did my best. Um, but yeah, she in the she was good at chorus. She got her own solo part. I was so proud of her. The thing that really interested me was not singing, but was playing guitar. And there was actually a guitar club that opened. It was run by the damn abusive chorus teacher, but I still ended up doing it anyway because it was my own interests and my grandfather, who had been teaching me at the time, felt like it was a good opportunity for me. So I did it. And I got in. And I ended up playing the, um, the bass for one of the songs. It was nice. I had a lot of fun. Welcome back, Dino! But yeah, guitar, guitar is fun. I don't think I could play guitar anymore. Like, I don't remember... The, the, uh, I remember some of the chords and stuff, but... I don't have that much no knowledge anymore. <laughs> but yeah, guitar was something I did do. So, even with the shitty abusive teacher, it was still fun. And it was nice to see the smile on my grandfather's face. <laughs> my grandfather was in the front row camera out getting up to get a closer look to record me during the time i regret not just teaching myself best back in middle school when i first wanted to learn mm. Mm. <laughs> i just did bass in the um the thing mostly because our bass player had was out during the day of the concert and so they were like oh is there anyone who remembers the the bass the bass notes or anything like that and i was like well i do and i ended up doing it then um but the guitar was really the big thing and my grandfather was the one who bought me my guitar as well the white one my grandfather was the best now, I don't know if people will put the dots together after I say this, but my um, parents were um, also there. They were in the back, the back row. Uh. My grandmother was also in the front. Not too far in the front because they were picking people to come dance in the front. She didn't want to dance, <laughs> but she was near the front taking videos as well. Alice Reverie, your music is perfect right now. <laughs> I was like, 
thinking to memories and I just hear the violin. <laughs> that was perfect. Anyway, moving on. They all look at me. Person I know who actually prefers bass guitar. I love sleep notes so much. Dude, it's entirely valid and based, honestly. The bass is, is really cool. And it's it's different from the guitar. So they're nice. Mm. It was nice my grandfather and my grandmother being there. My parents were only there because my grandfather had needed a ride and my grandmother did too. They weren't there when the chorus concert happened. And that's how I know sort of why they were there during that one. Anyway. <laughs> Um, mm, thank you for the hook. What was I gonna say? Anyway, but the bass and the guitar are both valid instruments to like, and I think the ba the bass the, 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 is really cool and mm, overlooked a lot. You know, mm, I have. I have grandmother, mommy, who loves me and would go to anything <laughs> if I asked her. And big sister who would also do it. Back to Alice Weber. <laughs> it's. Yeah. Yeah. But I like talking about them. They mean a lot to me. I feel like when you go over my videos, you kind of notice that is I don't talk much about my mom or my stepmom or any of them. You have many good memories of them. Yeah. I love my grandmother, and she is the reason I call her mom is because she is the um, only good mother figure I've ever had. All the others have been not the best. So I do talk about them because they mean a lot. Um, I don't talk about dad or my stepmother, or my biological mom, or even my brothers that much because of just... How it is. When I talk about stories of the past, it's a way for me to... Remember some good things that happened. Even then, I will admit in some of my videos, there's a moment in one in which I say that my dad um, told me, I don't remember what exactly it was for, but it was in it's in one of the videos where I said my dad told me he was proud of me. Oh, I think it was about defending my brothers. That was a lie. It's what I wish he would have said. The reality is, neither of them knew. Knew that I had defended him. I mean, Donovan still told them I did it, but neither of them really 